So I've I've um quickly quickly shown Jim two two bits of newspaper. Uh huh. Yes, I've scanned through them as quick as I can. Yes. Well, the, uh, who was that? The Drifters or the Temptations? Who was that playing? Oh, uh, that was that was the Drifters. The Drifters. Right. Yes, I'm either, I'm either playing the Drifters or the Temptations. Oh, uh, okay. To keep things simple. And it's the the, the te- sorry the Mo- Motown is at the Northcott this week, and uh, Drifters Girl is in Plymouth. I uh, can't remember the date, but I think it's in Bristol quite soon, mm-hmm. and then later on it's in. Plymouth, so I've got good reasons. Oh, great, it's on a regional tour. Yeah, I'm not just sitting here playing old at the moment <laughs> <of> the <Motown laughs> chats. Of course you're not. As it's if I'd ever think that. It's all done for a good reason. Yeah, you're an essential part of their uh, PR operation. Well, you see, I've, I've been I've been trying to make this case that the, the, the way music is marketed is relevant to theatre and there must be some way of um, I think if to interrupt, mm. partly because I enjoy it. Um, I think you, you you might be onto something there, and it's it's interesting. The 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 article that uh, that you found in that was at the Culture Magazine for the Sunday Times that I've just read through very very quickly. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Is about uh, there's a, uh, in the West End. There's a, a show based on the Stranger Things TV series, and what he's talking about here. Interestingly, the uh, the critic Dominic Maxwell. I don't know him. Uh, no, he drinks to the Duke of York, doesn't he? Yeah. Uh, he says, I won't claim it's a great play. I will claim it's a great show. Um, and this, it's big budget, lots of effects, lots of spectacles. He says, there's all sorts of magic tricks. People are levitating, transforming, bleeding. Um, and he, he, he's given it generally a pretty good review. And there's, there's a lot of this going on now at the moment in theatre. Because theatres will do anything to stay open. <laughs> well, yes. Obviously, it sits because there was, of course, the pandemic, and now, of course, we all know the the the, the dreadful hole the whole country's been pulled down into, um, and so there's not a lot of money around, and of course, theatre is enormously expensive to um, to put on. Yes. Shows cost fortunes to put yes. on, so I think with a show like Stranger Things, and of course, you've had Mamma Mia, of course, the Drifters show was it Drifters Girl? You're yeah, talking Drifters about Girl. the Motown show. Yes. These. Are all the, these are already sold because these have already been marketed, haven't they? Through the TV shows, through the music. Yes. These these theatrical spin-offs are being presented to a public that's already been sold. Um, these things. So I think so, that that so, backs up what you're saying, so, really, so, in a way. So, so going back when you you you, you earlier said um, try, trying to get people away from the screen and into mm-hmm. a theatre. Yeah. And what I'm what I'm saying is, if they're already on the screen, what what do you put on the screen that suggests to them they should also how go you, to? You've, I think you're absolutely. How do you say it? The worst thing is when people who are not young or are not cool try to act like they are. <laughs> oh. And so I think that might make um, it difficult for a lot of people in theatre to sell to young people. But also, interesting, this article he says something. It's also what what the shows are about are important. If you're right. still going to be putting on plays that appeal to people say 50s 60s and over that's fine but if you're not doing anything else you're not going to pull young people in and he mentions a very successful play that i hadn't heard of here um let's see by a guy called ryan Calais cameron uh, a play on black male identity called for black boys who have considered suicide when the hue gets too heavy which uh, played in the west end last spring is about to be revived and they reckon this guy reckons seventy percent of the audience were new theatre goers. Yes, that's fantastic because it's it, presumably it's the it's the subject matter of the play that pulled them in. Yes, um, I think I think that that counts for a lot um, because uh, every generation has its own stories or make its own stories. Um, you know the way societies we tell ourselves stories. It's what human beings do. Yes. So if if you want to pull people into the theatre, young people in the theatre, you've got to tell them the stories they want to hear, or the stories that interest them. Right. Um, I think that's the way to go. But how to market that on the screen? Oh, you're asking the wrong person. I don't know. No. Um, okay. Presumably, maybe they are. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, I haven't looked, but I'd be. I mean, if I was running a theatre, I would have somebody whose job is to pump out anything on social media that might drag someone in. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's they probably do do that, but 
Um, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be slightly provocative at this, at this point. Oh, well. it, it very, very often just says it's a wonderful show and you must buy a ticket. Yes, I must see. <laughs> um, <but> it, doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't say, here's, here's five minutes of what it's about. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't. And maybe, maybe they should do that. And there's also part of the image of theatre that it's for posh white middle class people, and most of the time it is. Well, it, yeah, that's it that's, is quite an exclusive that's, that's form. Problem, but just just going back to the writer. Yeah. Maybe it's a problem that the writers have to work out, so that they have to they have to work out. Well, this is this is the story. This is what it's about. Here's a a version of it which is in an hour and then an interval and then another hour. Here's mm-hmm. another version of it, which is 20 minutes. Here's another version of it, I think, which um, is in episodes. I see what you mean. I mean, that would be, actually, probably, that'd be more something... You're talking about an edit, different edits, really, aren't you? So you wouldn't have to write different versions of the play, I suppose. You'd edit different the play to different versions. But how much sense they would make. Um, uh, really, you're talking about trailers, aren't you? In a way, yeah. In, it's a, yeah, it's uh, a, it's, theatrical yeah, trailers they're, they're, they're for form, theatrical productions. Yes, they're forms of trailer. So they're, they're yes, they're a way that communicates. Um, they're, also, they're also you see, there's a, there's a term that may or may not be be valid, but is is content marketing. So, um, and a lot of it is 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 more or less worthless. I mean, it's it's public relations people have just dreamt up loads and loads of text. Let's say. Um, it's not. It's not journalism in the sense that journalism was once known. Right. But the idea of it is that there is there is substance to to content mm-hmm. which is made available through the interweb. Yeah. And it leads somewhere. I see what you mean. Um, and I think a lot of the um, the first the, the mixes and sampling that come out of, around an album or a set of tracks yeah. is of that style. So it's not it's not the it's not what you, the experience you would get if you if you bought the whole package and listened to it, put some time to it. Yeah, it's a it's, so you could regard it as a trailer. Then it's mm-hmm. a it's a it's a thirty second version or two minute yeah. version. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not saying that that's an, an ideal situation, but it just seems to me that um, if if the writers don't think about this, then somebody mm-hmm. else is just going to slice it up in some some other way. I think you mean. I mean, <clears throat> it would depend. I mean, some writers, I imagine, would say it's not their job. Um, others would maybe would be very very interested in seeing how their play is is being marketed and sold. Um, my guess would be it'd be ultimately down to the producer, wouldn't it? Because they're paying for it. Yes. Um, but I think, to be honest, it sounds to me like a good idea. Um, why not have trailers you, where, you, where you would... I mean, you could do it, say, maybe during a part of a tech rehearsal or you get a couple of the actors um, one, one day and you just film them doing a few scenes and then from that you snip together a trailer. Why not? Yeah. I think it's a very good idea. I mean, it's interesting, you see it for big shows. You'll see it for big shows with lots of spectacle. Something like Cirque du Soleil, or, I don't know, uh, or, or something at the West End that, that shows lots of people dancing on the stage. You'll see snippets of that, won't you? Right. But they, they don't do it for straight theatre. Uh, maybe they will. I suppose theatre's had to... Are we going to music now? Well, I'm just. I'm just don't, don't worry. I'm, <laughs> Will is I'm not, Will is looking. Yes, I'm uh, very sorry, concerned. Just, buttons just getting in front of him. I can't remember which. I can't remember which CD is which, Jim. Because I'm. Oh. But um, whatever, whatever we get is a surprise, then. It's whatever we get is a surprise. But look, I think I think we've I think we've reached. Um, I've explained what what, I, what what the what the issues are as, 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 as I as I imagine it. Yeah. And you 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 can you can see that. I think we'll, ju- we'll just sort of leave it there and see what response we, we, we get. fixed it. We've sorted it out, mate. We've well, done we it. Know what we want. We've done it. We know what we want. We yeah. just want somebody to come back and say, "Oh yes." Well, look, we just want somebody. Look, I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I can't get the, the interweb is not working at the moment. Uh-huh. But um, I, I think this is probably a good time just to mention this. There's a show called Mary and the Matrons, which is from Documental Theatre or Documental Productions. Mm-hmm. If you look on. Um, YouTube, there's a, 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 a trailer, yeah, I think you can say it is a trailer, three or four minutes describes what the show's about, 
it's a, it's about um, learning learning difficulties and how things have changed in the last 30 or 40 years. Is it the one that was on at the Barnfield? It was on at the Barnfield. By somebody Bell? Yes, Lucy Bell. Lucy Bell. And there's three tracks now, which are also on YouTube, which were recorded in, it's a recording studio version, so there's, there's, some, there's some video with it. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, and there's other, there's other bits, there's a rehearsal you can find on YouTube through RTV, was RTV local news in Bristol, I think. Um, so what they've done is to aim at that that production that was at the Barnfield, which was was presented as a work in progress, and mm -hmm. now they're working more on the music production, mm -hmm. and they're gradually putting bits and pieces onto YouTube. Okay. And I would say that the, the script needs development as well. There's, there's some continuity that's needed with the, with, with with what okay. I saw at the, bar, the barnfield. But they'll by the by the time they've got the production together, there will be quite a lot of different bits and pieces on YouTube or social media, including the music. It might it might be musical theatre. Is is a good route towards working out what to do in this sort of area. Yeah. Um, yes, it could be. I mean, yeah, they're much easier to sell a musical. The, sto the stories usually can be the, the essential story can be explained very often. Yeah. And then the, the the songs lend themselves to the kind of promotion that we've been talking about. And then we'll, other other parts of it might work as well. Yeah, so that's 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 an option. Okay. <coughs> Look, what I'm go what I'm going to do is um, I'm pretty. As I say, I've now I I'm paying so much attention to what you're saying to <laughs> that I've forgotten. I've got the drifters in one CD player. And it's the my eyes, Will. You can't other. escape my eyes. So you wouldn't think it's very complicated for me to remember which is which, but I'm. I'm Pretty sure this will. This okay, will you, you look, you're hovering over that button like it's about to explode. Yes, I think this is the Temptations. 